Any trouble? No, boss. No trouble at all. Got something else for me? Wally's feels a little light. There's a little extra in mind to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. I knew a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. He starts shouting for help. Now the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend. And I know you're loyal to him. And I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. Okay, boss. Good. Now, we gotta talk about this Turnbull. The guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. <laughs> That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust a hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations, and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny, have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you give Turnbull the third eye. Okay. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and this crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'd be talking to someone else. Then get it done. Hey, handsome. <laughs> Ladies? You're wasted on that wife of yours. You know that? Oh, uh, he'll never look our way. He's a good boy. Hey, Tom. You're missing this idiot being partway through one of his bullshit stories. Since when have I told you bullshit stories? Like the one about the Goomba who shot himself in the face? Hey, No Nose was a hell of a guy. You'd have liked him. Not to look at, but he had a sense of humor. Of course, he needed one looking the way he did. Poor bastard. I heard there's so much money coming in, the boss had to get a bigger safe to keep it in. Hey, Tommy. Boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Now, Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat till the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these, where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in a room with a view, up on the top floor. 
Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Find a way inside and make for the guard tower. The top deck is locked. That's what the key's for. Politicians come at us, we come back at them hard. That's how Lost Heaven's gonna learn. department store has been serving the people of Lost Heaven for more than 65 years. We care for this city and for each and every customer that comes through our door. We want the best for them and their families, and that's why this message is a little different. In recent years, our city has fallen prey to criminal elements. Only one man has shown that he has the strength and the moral fortitude required to once again allow the people to walk the streets without fear, with hope in their hearts. That man is Hank Turnbull. Mr. Turnbull stepped away from political life after 20 years in Congressman of the Police and the Supreme Court. The state finds itself in has compelled him to step into the breach once more. And we could have no finer champion in the governor's mansion than Hank Turnbull. He'll bring all his experience to bear on the criminals that have made our streets their playground. Proven in the battlefield that is the 27th Congressional District, Mr. Turnbull will be tough on crime and tough on the systemic corruption that plagues our state. We are lucky in the extreme to have such a warrior against Griff stepping back on the field in our... said you wanted the guard tower. Bade me to mark the way with this sign. Folks go through the sewer. Only way in. Then just keep heading up. Hey! Get out of here! We ain't going nowhere! Turn around! Someone's coming through. No. Well, you ain't one of us. You're not welcome. I'm warning here. you, mister. Can't you people just leave us be? This is our home. Why can't you people understand that? Is that you, cop? You're locked up tight, not getting in. Someone's coming through. the guard tower. 
it's uh, up through the main cell block. Keys locked most of the time. Keep the feds out. Thanks. Be careful in here, stranger. We're protective of our own. There'd be more of you to evict us. Am I close to the guard tower? Real close. Elevator's out, but you can take the stairs. been out.
you see? The police! It's the police! Where's the shooter? I... I don't... Where's the fucking shooter? How do they...
Did you hear about this Turnbull? Heard he was crooked as the day is long. It says in the paper he's going to be remembered for fighting to pass the 19th Amendment. Put his whole career on the line for it. Which one was that again? Woman suffrage, you idiot. He gave me the right to vote, Tom. Gave it to his wife and six daughters, too. Nobody's just one thing, are they? Guess not. I gotta go to work. <sighs> Tom, don't do nothing you don't want to be remembered for, you hear me? Probably too late for that. <laughs> <laughs> 